Hey everyone welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to create particle product showcase animation inside After Effect. Something like that. So let's get started. Create a new composition called main image. Set resolution whatever you want. I set 1920 and 1080 and frame rate 60. Drag the product image inside the composition. Scale it down or up according to your product image. Place it in the center. Select image layer right click and select pre-compose. Called it image also select move all attributes then click OK. Now create adjustment layer. Right click new then select adjustment layer. Adding extract effect on this adjustment layer go to effect and preset search extract apply this on adjustment layer. Change black softness value to 1 and white softness value to 255. Then go to around 1 second in the timeline. Set keyframe on black point. Then go to around 2.5 second in the timeline and change the black point value to 255. Again select adjustment layer. Search key cleaner. Apply it. Click check on the reduce chatter and change the additional edge radius value to 40. Select both the layer. Right click then click pre-compose called emitter. Go inside the emitter composition. Select Adjustment Layer Press U for Revel the keyframes. Go to second keyframe in the timeline then select Image Layer. Hit Ctrl plus Shift plus D for split the layer. Then delete the second layer. Now create a solid layer for particle. Right click in the composition. New and select Solid. Now select Particles Layer. Go to Effect and Preset Search Particular and apply it. This is third-party plugin you can download this plugin from the link pasted in description. Go inside the emitter. Change emitter type to layer. Change particles per second value to 150000. Change direction to directional. Emitter size Z set to 0. Direction spread set to 100%. Y rotation 90. Velocity 200. and velocity random set to 50 dot also velocity distribution set to 5 dot velocity from emitter set to 0 then click on the velocity over life click on the presets and select the second preset then click on the toggle button go inside the layer emitter change layer to emitter make sure your layer is 3d layer now go inside the particle Change life value to 1. Life random value to 100. Click on the size over life. Select second preset. Then click on the brush icon. Delete the second point. Drag the first point like that. Change size value to 6. Then go inside the opacity over life and select the third preset. Open environment and change the air density value to 0. Expand the Displace tab. Also Turbulence Field tab. Change the XYZ Displace value to 750. Go inside the Spin tab. Change Fade in Spin value to 3. Also change Fade in Time value to 2. TF Move with Drift value to 0. Now expand the Turbulence Field Controls tab. Change TF Scale to 2. Complexity value to 1. Evolution speed value to 0. Let's preview this. Now drag the image composition. Inside the main image composition. Hide the emitter layer. Select the image composition go to track matter then select alpha mat. Create a new composition called main. Drag the main image composition inside the main composition.
go to around 4 seconds in the timeline. Hit Ctrl plus Shift plus D, then delete the second layer. Now right click on the main image composition layer. Go to Time and select Enable Time Remapping. Go to 5 second then hit a keyframe of Time Remap. Then go to around 2 second more. And change the Time Remap value to 4 until all particles disappear. Now go to first frame in the timeline. Select main image composition press P for the position. Adding keyframe on the position for smooth in and out animation something like that. Now adding text and logo in the video. Drag the logo file inside the composition. Scale it down like that. Now adding fill effect on the logo for the color. Then type a text whatever you want. I am using Poppins font. Create a new solid layer for the background. Place this solid layer at the bottom in the composition. Go to Effect and Preset Search Gradient Ramp. Apply it. Change the color according to your need. And adjust the positions of the point something like that. Now create text animation. Select all the text layer press P for the position. Adding keyframes something like that. Also select logo layer. Press S for the scale adding keyframes something like that. Here is over final animation. I hope you learned something new from this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you in the next tutorial.